never mind. The warmest day in the seven day forecast is today. Once the locally dense fog this morning dissipates, temperatures are going to warm up rapidly, but we already start cooling off tomorrow. A stronger onshore breeze, more clouds overhead passing through on Sunday. No precipitation out of those clouds. The next storm system missing us to the north, but close enough to squeeze the atmosphere over the Bay Area and produce that stronger onshore wind. The fog is going to dissipate quickly as we head through the next couple of hours. By midday, yeah, there's still going to be some fog hanging out at least near the coast, but inland parts of the Bay Area and around the Bay should see plenty of sunshine and temperatures are going to warm up quickly. We're going to end up 5 to 10 degrees above average around the Bay, closer to a dozen degrees above normal farther inland, which puts most of those inland temperatures well into the 80s. Not so much along the coast. Again, the fog's going to be hanging out nearby. The onshore breeze is going to keep you in the low 60s for highs, but that's not bad for the middle of May. Upper 70s and low 80s around the south end of the bay and down the peninsula, so just one range of hills makes a big difference, a 20-degree swing there. Temperatures in the mid, even upper 80s in the Santa Clara Valley, 85 in San Jose, up to 87 for Morgan Hill. Mid-80s for the Tri-Valley, closer to 90 for Concord and Pleasant Hill, likely to hit 90 around Brentwood and into the low 90s in Fairfield. You'll be the hot spot this afternoon. Close. Just short of 70 degrees in San Francisco by early afternoon. Then the onshore breeze strengthens and temperatures start to drop. Low to mid 70s for Oakland and the East Bay with temperatures in the North Bay, mostly in the low to mid 80s. Warmer and warmer as you head farther inland, which puts temperatures around Windsor and St. Helena up to around 90 degrees. If you're going to be heading out to run beta breakers on Sunday morning or just observe and just kind of maybe morbidly curious as to how some of the more scantily clad runners are going to fare with the cool temperatures. Well, it's going to be cool out there. We'll start off with some fog once again Sunday morning. The sun will gradually peak through, but temperatures when the race starts in the mid 50s, only warming up a couple degrees by the time most of the runners are finishing that 12 kilometer course. Tomorrow evening, you can catch a glimpse of a lunar eclipse. Look to the southeastern horizon, so you have to find a spot where that southeastern horizon isn't obscured by any of the Bay Area is hills. The eclipse is already going to be underway when the mood rises just after 8 o'clock. The total eclipse begins around 830. The totality occurs about 11 minutes past 9 o'clock. That's when the moon is going to turn that shade of red that prompts the phrase blood moon. The total eclipse comes to an end by just before 10 o'clock on Sunday evening. Temperatures are going to continue dropping off. We'll be close to normal Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and another wave of cooler air is going to be heading our way by Thursday and Friday, but just some passing clouds with that system. No precipitation expected. Temperatures running just a little bit below average for the end of next week.